Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Ghost Ship in Ireland In 2020, a mysterious ghost ship washed up on the southwest coast of Ireland with no crew. The ship was a massive cargo vessel that was propelled into the rocky coast of Ireland by Storm Dennis, but it was completely empty. Turns out, it had drifted practically around the world until it ended up at its final resting spot near Cork, where it sat for quite some time. According to the man who finally found it, Barry McDonald from the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, he said he simply couldn't believe it. He was astounded. He just couldn't believe such a massive vessel could be washed up on the rocks without anyone noticing it. As soon as he saw it, he reported it to the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard identified the mysterious ship as the MV Alta. It had been drifting across the Atlantic Ocean with no crew since at least September 2018. By the time it showed up in Ireland, the crew had abandoned it, and it had been drifting eerily across the ocean for almost two years. When it was first abandoned, the 10 crew members had to be rescued in the middle of a voyage from Greece to Haiti. The crew encountered technical difficulties when the power went out, and they drifted. They were lost, floating in the ocean for 20 days before the U.S. Coast Guard noticed them when they got close to Bermuda. The USGC Cutter Confidence, which was conducting patrols near Puerto Rico, was able to drop off supplies and get a tugboat out to rescue the crew. Once everyone was safe, they tried to find the ship's owner. It was the owner's job to get another tugboat to pull the vessel away, but he refused. And after some storms and hurricanes, the ship was left floating at sea. One year after the crew was rescued, the Royal Navy Ice Patrol ship, the HMS Protector, reported seeing a creepy vessel floating alone in the mid-Atlantic Ocean. It was the MV Alta. Almost a year later, the ghost ship found its resting place in Cork, but people are encouraged to stay away from it, since it is considered to be an unstable condition. Number 9. Latvian Shipwreck Some locals recently found a suspicious shipwreck on a Latvian beach that dates back over 200 years. This creepy ship is 40 feet long, and according to the experts, could be a lost warship from Britain's Royal Navy. The ship was first discovered by some locals visiting Daugavgriva Beach, just a couple of miles away from the capital city of Riga. People came across the beams of the wreckage, then called in the big guns. Excavators scooped out the sand to see the full scope of the ship. It proved to be huge, although nobody has yet identified its origins. The hull appears to have once been plated with copper, which was a technology first used by the Royal Navy. As for the rest of the ship, it appears to be made of solid oak. This was a popular shipbuilding material in Britain until the Victorian era, or the mid-1800s. That leaves it somewhere between 150 and 200 years old. The Royal Navy may have once used it to patrol the Baltic Sea. Judging by its size and its copper armor, the Navy may have designed it for war, or it was a long-distance merchant trade ship. Either way, it ended up beached on the coast of Latvia, then buried under literal tons of sand. The authorities had to dig the entire beach up just to expose the bottom of the ship. Number 8. El Caleuche The legend of El Caleuche takes us to the misty island of Chiloé in Chile. Local legends say that now and then at low tide, the wind will carry ghostly music and the gentle buzzing of low voices out from the fog. The air along the coast grows cold, and El Caleuche comes sailing out of the mist. It's a big white sailing ship, brightly lit and joyous with the sounds of partying. But for the islanders, the ship is an evil omen. Some people believe it's a living being, and that it lures sailors out into the mist to be enslaved for all of eternity. Others believe it has something to do with the spirits of lost sailors. More wild theories say a group of mystical sorcerers have made magical pacts with traders and other sailors who worked on the ship, whose ghosts have been forced to work for hundreds of years. The ship goes by many names, such as the Warlock Ship and the Enchanted Ship, but just how much of the legend is true? Hard to say, of course. There are so many variations of the legend that by now nobody can agree on what El Caleuche really is or where it came from. Some say the ghostly sailors on the ship are evil, while others say they sail the seas, helping desperate sailors out of dangerous situations. One hypothesis is that the legend is a copy of an older legend, inspired by the European tales of the Flying Dutchman. 
The story found its way to this tiny corner of Chile, and they came up with their own unique spin on it. Then again, the ghost ship could also be based on the mysterious disappearance of a real Dutch ship called the Calanche. Number 7. The Copenhagen Phantom Ship The mystery of the Phantom Ship, the Copenhagen, goes back to the 1920s. Shipbuilders originally built the vessel in Scotland, and it set off on its first journey in 1921. At this point in history, it was the biggest ship the world had ever seen. 430 feet long, with sails so big they could cover a surface area of nearly 60,000 feet. It also had a massive 650 horsepower engine hiding below deck. This was an absolute beast of a ship, and it wowed the citizens of the world as it went on nine full voyages in the next decade. It even circumnavigated the globe two times. But in 1928, it all went wrong. On September 21st, the ship was preparing to go on another trip. Nobody had the slightest notion that it would be the ship's last. 75 people were on board, 45 of them young cadets. They were to unload in Buenos Aires, journey to Australia, and then sail back to Europe. They docked in Buenos Aires for a full month, then headed for the open sea. The skipper sent a message eight days into their voyage saying all is well. And after that, the Copenhagen was gone. It simply vanished and nobody knew what happened to it. A year later, in 1929, a five-masted ghost ship was spotted drifting through the ocean. A search party was sent to see what it was, but the ship was already gone. It's believed the Copenhagen is still roaming the seas. Number 6. Beeswax Wreck The Beeswax Wreck is a Spanish shipwreck dating back to the late 1600s that nobody has found yet. It's one of the more bizarre maritime mysteries in the United States. People say that the shipwreck is located somewhere off the coast of Oregon. This Spanish galleon was carrying tons and tons of beeswax in large blocks and candles. Back when there wasn't electricity, beeswax was everything, so you could have candles for light. After 14 years of research, archaeologists say the ship was wrecked prior to European settlement and even European exploration. So what was it doing so far north and on the opposite coast of the United States from Spain? It's most likely the ship was trading between Manila and Acapulco and crashed on the shore of the northern U.S. Later, a tsunami in 1700 scattered the shipwreck further north. Spanish archival records of the galleon trade list only one galleon sailing from Manila to Acapulco as missing during this time period, the Santo Cristo de Burgos, which left Manila in 1693 and was never seen again. We don't know for sure if this is the right ship, but we do know what it had in its cargo. We also know it went down somewhere near Oregon because of all the clumps of beeswax that people have found washed up on beaches. All along Oregon's north coast for the last 200 years, people have been finding lost bricks of beeswax from the same sunken ship with the Spanish seal on them. The only historical mention of the wreckage is from the fur trader Alexander Henry. He wrote in 1813 that a local Native American tribe had massive quantities of beeswax that they were trying to sell. The Native Americans said they had gotten the beeswax from a shipwreck, but the shipwreck vanished before anyone else could find it. Number 5. Golden Gate Ships In the murky water off the coast of San Francisco, in the area of the Golden Gate Bridge, there is a whole graveyard of sunken ships. In fact, according to marine archaeologists, there are at least 300 wrecks within the Golden Gate National Recreation Area and the surrounding region and scientists have seen or investigated only a fraction of these mysterious ships. Marine researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, recently set out to document the lost ghost ships of San Francisco. They conducted a survey that went on for five days, using a remotely operated vehicle to identify four major wreckage sites. James Delgado, with the Maritime Heritage for the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries, says there are so many wrecks because at one point, this was the busiest and most important port on the American Pacific coast. The sunken ships here date back from 1595 to as recently as 1984. Discovering four wrecks is hardly documenting all 300, but it's a start. Number 4. The Flying Dutchman There is no ghost ship anywhere near as famous as the Flying Dutchman, but unlike some stories of phantom vessels, the Flying Dutchman is rooted in reality. 
It was the year 1641, and Captain Hendrik van der Decken, also known as the Dutchman, left Amsterdam with a ship full of spices. But as he rounded the Cape of Good Hope, a storm ensnared him and his crew. The crew begged the Dutchman to reverse course, but he pushed them straight into the gale. Some say he was drunk. Others say he was just completely insane. No matter the case, the ship sank, and thus was born the legend of the Flying Dutchman. Starting in the 18th century and going on for 250 years, sailors continued to report seeing the Flying Dutchman at sea. And it was never a good thing because it was always right before a great catastrophe. Whenever a ship went down during a storm, someone always claimed to have witnessed the Dutchman coming out of the fog in the minutes before the disaster. Believe it or not, it was the opera that put the Flying Dutchman on the public radar. This was a famous ghost ship in marine circles, but it became popular culture in 1843 thanks to Richard Wagner's The Flying Dutchman. Number 3. The Lyubov Orlova The Russian ghost ship the Lyubov Orlova became famous in 2014 when it showed up out of nowhere on a collision course with the British coastline. The Russian ship, named after a famous Russian actress from Soviet cinema, had been drifting aimlessly through the ocean for a full year. It was a 300-foot-long vessel built over four decades ago, serving most recently as an expedition cruiser. The ship's builders had built the hull to withstand sea ice, making it ideal for long journeys through the Arctic and Antarctica. In 2010, the Canadian authorities confiscated the ghost ship over debts. Instead of paying off those debts, the crew deserted the ship. The owner went missing in action, and the Lyubov Orlova was abandoned. It was tied up in Canada for two years, then towed to the Dominican Republic. But as she was being towed to the Dominican, the line broke, and she was released out into the wild, a ship without a crew and nowhere to go. Number 2. Baltic Sea Shipwreck At the bottom of the Baltic Sea, underwater archaeologists have discovered a different kind of ghost ship. This one is 500 years old and in pretty awful shape. It's called the Gribschunden and it was once the flagship of King Hans of Denmark. It was so big and so mighty, people called it a floating castle. Historical records show the ship sank back in 1495, along with a crew of soldiers and noblemen. We don't know exactly how many were lost, but considering the size of the vessel, it was probably a lot. The reason the Gribschunden is such an incredible find is that shipwrecks this old rarely exist. There's something called a shipworm, a type of saltwater clam which usually goes to work eating the wood of sunken vessels until everything is gone. The only thing that prevented this ship from being completely savaged by the worms was the low salt level of the brackish Baltic Sea. This helped to preserve the vessel, which archaeologists say is a treasure without a price. This ship is still in extremely rough shape. There isn't much left except chunks of timber covered in barnacles and clams but it is relatively intact and should give archaeologists a unique look at the end of the Middle Ages when floating castles helped modernize society. Number 1. Ancient Maya Slave Ship Researchers have identified what could be the most disturbing ghostly wreckage yet. Just off the coast of Mexico, researchers found the remains of a steamboat from the 19th century sitting on the ocean floor. The ship was hardly recognizable, totally in ruins and overgrown with marine life. It's also mostly disintegrated. Researchers with Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History were able to document and identify the ship. They linked it to a violent and terrifying chapter in the country's history. Historical documents show the vessel is called La Union and that it was used for the illegal transportation of enslaved Maya people during the late 1800s. Between the years 1855 and 1861, Documents show La Union was used to capture and transport around 30 Maya people every month to the island of Cuba, where they were taken as slaves to work on sugarcane plantations. The ship was even active during the caste war of Yucatan. For those who don't know, this was the war that started in 1847, when the Maya people rebelled against the Spanish-speaking landowners who subjugated them. The war ended in 1901 with around 300,000 deaths. As for the ship, it went down on September 19, 1861. It was on its way to the Caribbean island when its boilers exploded. 
Its wooden hull was set on fire, and about half of everyone on board was killed. Now it's in pieces on the bottom of the ocean, a grim reminder of Mexico's dark past. Thanks for watching. What's the spookiest ghost ship in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye!